Have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to exhibit an unyielding shield of protection towards their loved ones, particularly their significant others? This intriguing phenomenon is often observed in what is known as a twin flame connection, a unique bond where two souls are intertwined in a dance of divine love and respect. Within this connection, we find the powerful presence of the divine masculine, an energy that embodies strength, guidance, and most notably, protectiveness. This protectiveness is not about possession or control, rather it is a deep-seated desire to safeguard their divine feminine counterpart from harm. Understanding this protectiveness can offer profound insights into the dynamics of a twin flame relationship and empower individuals to nurture and appreciate these unique bonds more fully. It's a fascinating aspect of the twin flame connection that is well worth exploring. Now let's delve into the seven signs that highlight the divine masculine's protectiveness. The first sign is emotional support. In the dance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine, Emotional support plays a pivotal role. It's a beacon of light, a sign that the Divine Masculine is deeply invested in the well-being of their counterpart, the Divine Feminine. This emotional support isn't something that's fleeting or conditional. It's unwavering, steadfast, and solid as a rock. The Divine Masculine doesn't merely offer a shoulder to lean on during challenging times. Instead, they provide a solid emotional backbone for the Divine Feminine to rely on. This support is so profound that it's akin to a sturdy tree that stands tall and strong, weathering every storm, providing shelter and safety. The Divine Masculine understands that true strength doesn't lie in stoic silence or emotional detachment. They recognize that their strength is best utilized when it's channeled into providing emotional support. In doing so, they create a sacred space where the Divine Feminine feels seen, heard, and understood. This emotional support isn't about solving problems for the Divine Feminine or taking away their struggles. Rather, it's about being there, standing strong beside them in the face of adversity. It's about offering a comforting presence that reminds the Divine Feminine that they're not alone, that they have a partner who's willing to face any challenge with them. The Divine Masculine's emotional support isn't a sign of weakness, but a testament to their strength and resilience. It's a protective instinct that goes beyond the physical realm, reaching into the emotional and spiritual domains. It's a sign of their commitment to safeguarding the emotional health and well-being of the Divine Feminine. And it's not just about the big moments or the significant challenges. The Divine Masculine shows up in the quiet moments too, offering a listening ear, a comforting word, or a reassuring touch. They understand that emotional support is a continuous commitment, not a one-time offer. Emotional support, the first sign, truly showcases the profound depth of the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. The second sign is respect for boundaries. Just as a tree grows stronger when it's given the space to expand, so too does the relationship between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine, in his wisdom and love, understands the importance of personal and emotional boundaries. He recognizes the value of space, the need for individual growth, and the importance of respecting the Divine Feminine's personal journey. This respect for boundaries is not a sign of indifference or disinterest, quite the contrary. It's a protective measure, a conscious decision to ensure the comfort and safety of the Divine Feminine. It's like a gardener carefully tending to a plant, knowing when to water, when to prune, and when to merely observe. The Divine Masculine, in his protective role, understands that he must sometimes step back to let the Divine Feminine flourish. This respect extends to emotional boundaries as well. It's about acknowledging feelings, understanding emotional needs, and providing space for the Divine Feminine to express herself freely. The Divine Masculine doesn't impose his emotions or expectations on the Divine Feminine. Instead, he offers a safe space for her to unfold her emotions, to be herself without judgment or fear. The Divine Masculine does not cross boundaries uninvited. His respect for the Divine Feminine space is a testament to his love and his protective nature. He doesn't need to be constantly present in her life to show his care. His respect for her boundaries is his way of saying, I'm here for you but I will not impose myself. 
Your space, your journey, your emotions are yours, and I respect them. This balance between closeness and independence, between care and respect, is what makes the Divine Masculine's protective nature so special. It's not about control or dominance, but about love, respect, and the desire to see the Divine Feminine grow and thrive in her own unique way. Through respecting boundaries, the Divine Masculine exhibits a protective quality that is both respectful and considerate. The third sign is providing security. In the dance of the twin flame connection, the Divine Masculine assumes a role of a protector, a guardian of sorts. This is not about dominance or control, but rather a profound sense of responsibility for the well-being of the Divine Feminine. This protective instinct is deeply ingrained and comes from a place of immense love and respect. This security can manifest in various forms. It could be emotional security, where the Divine Masculine creates a safe space for the Divine Feminine to express her feelings without fear of judgment or ridicule. It's about being a solid rock in times of emotional turbulence, providing a comforting presence that says, I'm here for you. Physical security is another aspect. This doesn't necessarily mean fending off physical threats, although that too is a part of it. More often it's about ensuring the Divine Feminine feels safe in her environment and with Him. It's about providing a sense of stability that allows her to move through the world without fear, knowing she has someone who has her back. Financial security might also come into play, but it's not about the Divine Masculine being a provider in the traditional sense. It's about contributing to a sense of stability and predictability, reducing stress and allowing the Divine Feminine to focus on her personal growth and spiritual journey. In all these instances, the Divine Masculine is not acting out of obligation or societal expectation. It's a reflection of the deep bond between the Twin Flames, a testament to the Divine Masculine's commitment to the journey they have undertaken together. It's about creating an environment where the Divine Feminine can thrive, grow, and embrace her own divinity. By providing security, the Divine Masculine manifests a protective aura that is both reassuring and comforting. This isn't about shielding the Divine Feminine from the world, but rather about ensuring she has the support and safety to face it head on. It's a beautiful manifestation of the Divine Masculine's love, strength, and dedication to their twin flame journey. The fourth sign is constant availability. In the dance of Divine Energies, the Divine Masculine embodies a unique trait of being always available for the Divine Feminine. This isn't about dropping everything at a moment's notice, nor is it about being at the beck and call. Rather, it's about the willingness to be present, to listen, to understand, and to offer support when required. Imagine a sturdy lighthouse standing tall amidst a turbulent sea. No matter how fierce the storm, how high the waves, the lighthouse remains steadfast, its light piercing through the darkness, guiding the lost ships to safety. This is the essence of the Divine Masculine's constant availability. Like a lighthouse, the Divine Masculine provides a beacon of solace and security for the Divine Feminine, regardless of the circumstances. Now it's important to understand that this availability doesn't mean the Divine Masculine has no personal commitments or obligations. We all have our own lives filled with responsibilities and tasks that demand our attention and time. However, the Divine Masculine understands the importance of balance. They know how to manage their time and priorities so that they can be there for the Divine Feminine without neglecting their own needs. This constant availability is a testament to the Divine Masculine's protective nature. It's not about control or possession, but about providing a safe space where the Divine Feminine can express herself freely, where she can be vulnerable without fear of judgment or rejection. It's about creating a sanctuary of trust and understanding, a haven where the Divine Feminine can truly be herself. The Divine Masculine's constant availability is a beacon a lighthouse that stands tall amidst the storms of life. It's a sign of their dedication, their commitment to the journey they share with the Divine Feminine. It's a reflection of their protective nature, their willingness to stand by the Divine Feminine through thick and thin. Through constant availability, the Divine Masculine showcases a level of protectiveness that is both reliable and steadfast. 
The fifth sign is empathy and understanding. In the dance of energies that is the twin flame connection, empathy and understanding play a crucial role. The divine masculine, in its protective essence, mirrors not only strength but also deep compassion, understanding, and empathy towards the divine feminine. This is not just about acknowledging feelings, but about truly comprehending them, stepping into the other's shoes, and offering solace that's heartfelt and sincere. The Divine Masculine protects by understanding the Divine Feminine's feelings and experiences. It's this understanding that gives them the ability to provide comfort that's genuine, and reassurance that's comforting. They don't shy away from the emotional terrain, but rather, they navigate it with grace and wisdom. They understand that the Divine Feminine's feelings aren't a sign of weakness, but a testament to their strength. Empathy, in this context, is about being intuitively in tune with what the Divine Feminine is experiencing. It's about sharing emotional space, being a soft place to land in times of hardship, and a source of joy in times of happiness. Empathy allows the Divine Masculine to sense when the Divine Feminine needs support even when she doesn't express it. This silent understanding is a powerful form of protection, a shield woven from threads of compassion and care. The Divine Masculine doesn't just empathize, but also validates the Divine Feminine's feelings. This validation is a profound form of understanding, a reassurance that what the Divine Feminine feels is seen, heard, and accepted. It's a powerful way of saying, I'm here for you, and I understand you. This empathy and understanding aren't about solving problems or offering solutions, but about being a comforting presence. It's about offering a safe space where the Divine Feminine can be herself, express herself, and know that she's cherished, understood, and protected. Empathy and understanding, the fifth sign, highlight the Divine Masculine's protective qualities that are both compassionate and supportive. This sign is a testament to the depth of their love, a love that protects not just through strength, but also through understanding, empathy, and unwavering support. The sixth sign is assertiveness. Assertiveness is a quality that breathes life into the Divine Masculine's protectiveness towards the Divine Feminine. It is not just about being bold and courageous, but it's a clear demonstration of the Divine Masculine's unwavering commitment to safeguard the Divine Feminine from harm or injustice. Assertiveness, in this context, is not about being aggressive or dominating. Instead, it's about standing up for what's right, speaking out when necessary, and ensuring the Divine Feminine is treated with the respect and dignity she deserves. The Divine Masculine uses assertiveness as a tool to create a safe and secure environment for the Divine Feminine, allowing her to thrive and grow without fear or concern. Imagine the Divine Masculine as a sentinel, diligently watching over the Divine Feminine, ready to step in when she needs support or protection. This assertiveness is not born out of a need to control or overpower, but rather, it's an expression of the deep love and respect that the Divine Masculine has for the Divine Feminine. Assertiveness also extends to the Divine Masculine's interactions with the world around them. They are not afraid to challenge societal norms or expectations that might threaten the well-being of the Divine Feminine. They are prepared to question, to challenge, and to fight, if necessary, to protect their cherished connection with the Divine Feminine. In essence, the Divine Masculine's assertiveness is a testament to their strength and resilience. It's a reflection of their commitment to the Divine Feminine, demonstrating their readiness to shield her from the storms of life. It's a quality that is deeply ingrained within them, an integral part of their identity, and a clear sign of their protective nature. But remember, the Divine Masculine's assertiveness is never about control. It's about protection, respect, and love. It's about standing up for what's right and ensuring the Divine Feminine feels safe, respected, and cherished. Through assertiveness, the Divine Masculine demonstrates a form of protectiveness that is both bold and courageous. The final sign is unconditional love. Now let's delve into the heart of what fuels the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. It's a love so profound, so deep, that it transcends earthly definitions. It's the catalyst, the driving force behind all the other signs we've discussed. This is the unconditional love 
that the divine masculine holds for the divine feminine. Unconditional love is love without limits, without conditions, without expectations. It's a love that doesn't falter or waver, even when faced with the harshest of storms. It's a love that remains strong, steady, unwavering, regardless of the circumstances. In the context of a twin flame connection, this unconditional love is the bedrock upon which the divine masculine's protectiveness is built. It's the fuel that drives their desire to provide emotional support, respect boundaries, provide security, be constantly available, empathize, and assert themselves. This love is not about possession or control. It's about cherishing, nurturing, and protecting the divine feminine. It's about wanting the best for them, about putting their needs and well-being first. It's about standing by their side, guiding them, shielding them, and being there for them, no matter what. Unconditional love is not something you can fake or force. It's either there or it's not. And when it's there, it's palpable. It's visible in the way the Divine Masculine looks at the Divine Feminine, in the way they treat them, in the way they protect them. It's visible in their actions, their words, their gestures, their silence. It's important to remember that unconditional love is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process, a journey, a commitment. It's about consistently showing up, consistently being there, consistently protecting and caring for the Divine Feminine. So my friends, when you see this unconditional love, when you feel it, when you experience its depth and its power, know that it's the ultimate sign of the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. It's the sign that transcends all other signs, the sign that speaks volumes about their love and their commitment to the Divine Feminine. Unconditional love, the final sign, is the ultimate manifestation of the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. We have now explored the seven signs of the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. We've journeyed through the realms of emotional support, where the Divine Masculine offers a shoulder to lean on during tough times. We've seen how respect for boundaries can foster trust and deepen a twin flame connection. Next, we delved into providing security, both emotionally and physically, which is a cornerstone of the Divine Masculine's role. We touched upon the importance of constant availability, illustrating the Divine Masculine's commitment to being there for His Divine Feminine, come what may. Then we highlighted empathy and understanding, the key elements that allow the Divine Masculine to connect with His counterpart on a deeper level. We also looked at assertiveness, a powerful tool that the Divine Masculine uses to protect His Divine Feminine. Lastly, we explored the beautiful realm of unconditional love, the ultimate manifestation of the Divine Masculine's protectiveness. Remember, these signs are not set in stone, but if you recognize them, you might just have a Divine Masculine on your hands. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing.